is up my fellow net dwellers couch command here and today i'm teaching you how to make a daisy server on g portal so to start off with you're going to just go ahead and go over to your ad servers and you will need 20 slots or at least in my area you need 20 slots so we're going to click here pick the default one for a daisy standalone and click add we're going to come in here and you've got your basic settings right in this location this is where you can do your whitelisting your uh, passwords, your administration information, all that stuff. And it is going to take a couple of seconds for it to actually get that configured and ready to go. But in the meantime, what we're really going to need, at least for the modding aspect of this, is we're going to need this information right here, which is the FTP information. So they're going to go ahead and pop open FileZilla. And our host is this. Username... I'm grabbing the port first, username. And password. Now we can quick connect. So we've got this set up over here now. The next thing is we need the mods we're going to be adding to the server. Now, I've already downloaded mine into the workshop. My game is 221. One zero is at least the app ID as far as mine goes. Uh, for anybody who doesn't remember how to find the app ID, it's as simple as going to your store and searching Daisy. Whenever you search it, you'll get the app ID right there. You see the two two one one zero zero. The next thing is we're going to be moving all of these mods over into just the main directory of this guy here. So I've got six different mods and I'm actually gonna go into more detail on what all these mods are here in a second after we move them. So you just go ahead and control shift, that's all of them. And we're gonna just come into here for the generic area and we're gonna move them all. And while they're moving the files, we can also queue up the move of the keys. So to have these work, you need to actually fill in the keys for each of the mods you're gonna be using. To do that, you just go into the mod and go down to the keys folder and you'll just click and drag the key over go back and go on to the next one now once we've got all these keys transferred over or at least queued to transfer we can go ahead and start working on the settings while these FTP files transfer because FTP files do take a little bit. All right, there's the last one. So now we've got three, six mods currently transferring for a total of 70 files. And we're gonna just let that go in the background. We're going to come back to our server here and we're going to go into basic settings and give this a few seconds to hopefully load up. If it doesn't, I'm going to get bored and hit control F5 because, you know, impatience, it's a thing. Also, I'm going to check out the configuration files real quick. I had some requests from some of the people I are talking about potentially playing on this server about wanting double loot. And I'm wondering if I can figure out how to do that just Real quick glancing through the settings. It's very possible I'm not, but. So this is the actual, okay. So that's not what we're after. Server DZ. So we need to actually go into the server we're going to be doing, which is Turnus. We're looking for the type. Ah, Turnus DB types. Here's the loot. Okay, and we're after. Oh man, is this really broken down that? So you can come in here and it looks like you do have to individually modify each type on the map. Which is gonna be a pain in the butt. There's probably an easier way to do this, but so if you wanna increase the amount of ammo 12 gauge, you'd up the nominal here and increase the min and max, or at least the min. So I'm not gonna be doing that because that's gonna take a lot of time, but that is where you can go to edit your loot. 
So server name, this is going to be command HQ. This is going to be the server all of you guys can join. We're going to go with the server password commandos. Easy enough. Admin password, I'm not going to bother setting because I'm going to change that later because you guys don't get to be admin. Sorry. Those. And sure, you can know the server is hosted through G portal. We're going to keep it at Charness, regular. I'm not going to bother activating a whitelist. Whitelist is basically you're saying that you can have these people join and that's it. Notice this whole, this is my brother and all that. Uh, for same build, we're going to go with yes. I'm not going to disable the ban list. We're not going to allow file patching for now. Server time acceleration. So basically that's two hours to one day. Let's go ahead and change that to, let's go with six. So every four hours a day will be done. Let's go ahead and persist the server time. I'm actually going to add a little bit of nighttime acceleration because nights aren't the greatest. We're going to go ahead and times the night by two. Uh, yeah, yeah, doesn't matter. Loot history. I don't think that's going to matter. Respawn time, five, admin logs, .net logs. Enable a little. Started battle, I extend control, mid. I don't think we need any of this. All right. So there's the basic settings. Now the next thing we need is for our mods to actually show up, which we're waiting for our FTP here. And we're probably gonna have to do a time jump because we are still, we've got a lot to go. So I'll send a time jump here and we will get back to this just as soon as it's done. <laughs> Okay, now that we've finally just finished installing all of these mods, we're gonna be going back to, here we go. So all of our mods have transferred over. We have the six keys we need for it. The next step is to make it so these are actually recognized as mods. To do that, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a cheat by using my Steam Workshop. And we're going to be using the IDs on these with the naming to create what we need here. So I'm looking for 
So two five three four one five nine seven nine is my solar power mod. That guy right there. So we're gonna rename this to at, and it's solar panel power. So rename solar at solar underscore panel underscore power underscore system. All right. On to the next one. We've got. Next one is building fortifications, which is 26705982. This guy here. Rename, and this is going to be at building for fortifications. Next, we have the ability to make rafts, which is 26685 tons of zeros. This is going to be at raft. Then we have Trader Plus, which is 245. Trader Plus. Then we've got Daisy Dogs, which is 247. At Daisy Dash. And finally, for the 159, we have at CF. Now, the reason I did that was before, if we had gone into mods, they wouldn't show up. Now, if we go into mods, see there, there's all of our mods we want. All of these are client side mods where the client needs to have them as well as yourself. So go ahead and check this. Then go ahead and go through and just install. And install. And install. And install. Install. And install. Okay, now we have all of our mods added. We have modified the loot. Well, I've modified the loot. That was that little time jump thing, that sped up stuff. That was me modifying all the loot table. We've set a password on this. Everything should be configured. So let's go ahead and turn this sucker on. Now we'll know it's called Command HQ. We got a port for it. Let's go ahead and pull open the Daisy launcher. With all the different servers available, we're going to find Command HQ. Here it is. It's up and running. Let's go ahead and click Join here. You'll notice here this server requires these mods, which is great. So this is actually notating that to join this server, you need these mods. That, however, is not the right IP. This is probably the one I did earlier for testing purposes. Let's go ahead and refresh and see if we get the new one. All right. There we go. There we go. There's the right IP. So let's go ahead and set up DLCs and join. It requires a password. We set the password right there. You can see it down below as command C O M M A N D O E S. Connect. And if everything works, it should let me in. You'll notice right here, you are playing a modded version of the game. So it recognizes the fact we've got mods. Let's see if it loads. If it loads, we're all good. We have successfully created our server and I have successfully made it triple loot relatively. I say relatively because I think my loot might be a little, it's gonna be a little broken. Some of you might find a lot more guns than you should. Don't pick on each other too much. Voila, we loaded in. We should have triple loots. We should have those mods working. So there should be a trader in this thing. It's still loading a lot of stuff in, but as I said, 
We officially connected to the game. Um, badly damaged. Just gonna leave that. There you go. That is how you go ahead and create a day C server on G Portal as well as get your mods running. I hope this helped you guys out. Anyways, make sure you guys join the Discord if you guys are liking this stuff because I keep a couple of different private servers up and running and available to my Discord group. You guys are welcome to pop in, use them how you like. Just don't be a dick. Anyways, thanks for watching the content. I hope you guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.